say that the only way for me to get a slide by is to just chop and pull. I'm just trying to give you guys some ideas on a good way to get this guy to drive straight into you. Because a lot of times good guys, when I pressure straight into them, they'll circle. It's tough for me to slide by a guy right here when, when he's circling away from me. So I want to get straight pressure back into him. Alright? So if I just pull and circle, get this guy to kind of push into me, then my outside step change to my collar, pinky pressure, hip square, bend over at the waist, hands go to the mat, is, a, is an easy transition. Some of you guys are still trying to duck. You guys are thinking it's a duck under. Alright? If we're going to duck the guy, we would just pop that post up or control the elbow. I want this guy's Body, to get body and head and arms to go by me in front of my face. But as I step, keep the shoulder up so that collar tie starts to come off. Then I'm bending over in the waist to guide him by. So you can play around with anything you want in here. Okay? You can play around with staying on the collar the whole time. All right? You can play around with that. I just like pushing on the shoulder a little bit, get this guy to really lean into me. And then when I release to the head, you see how he already starts to fall? So I'll pressure on the shoulder here. I'm in good shape. And when I release to go to the collar, he's falling into me. So I'll go pressure on the shoulder, outside step. And when I go outside step, I change to the collar. See how this arm's already starting to get straight? Then as I turn, his arm's off. I'm picking up in the arm here right here. Then I just put his hands on the mat when I bend at the waist. So your only goal right now as some of you guys are learning this, to get real smooth with it, is to get that guy to pressure straight into me. And then I'm just gonna step to the side, turn, and put his feet on, put his hands on the mat. And I, I have another good question, it's like, what if I put, if he ends up in a quad pod, all right? Just keep packing until he's on his knees and his elbows, all right? So I'm in this position right here, maybe I'll slide and chop, and then pressure back in. And then I got it on that first one, boom, right here. And he goes quad pod. Alright, wrestle here. Put his elbows on the mat. Blow your claw. There you go. Right, wake me up the butt. Get him on his knees and elbows every time. Even though that's a takedown and folk style, it's really gonna be really tough to turn that guy in a quad pod. So transition to your next position. Alright, we break him down, we stay on top, we give him pressure. Alright, but the only way we're gonna get any of these slide buys, even if I have an underhook and I'm doing a foot change, alright? See how he's going in a straight line in front of me? If he's got a collar tie, I've got an overtie, okay? And I'm guiding him by with an overtie here. All those same principles. He's going right by in front of my hips, my hips are square, and then I'm bending over at the waist chasing him, all right? But again, he collar ties, pinky pressure over the top. You can block that shoulder and go straight to your collar tie. I like blocking that shoulder and getting pressure. Then when I get that pressure, step, Change to my collar, square, put his hands on the mat. Okay? Go!